OFJL World, Rena was traveling to a trade show in San Francisco, and her sister Yael said, when you get there, can you please bring back this bottle of merchandise for me? And also her friend Davina requested the same thing. They both deposited the funds for purchase of this item into Rena's bank account. When Rena got to the trade show in San Francisco, there was only one bottle of merchandise for her to purchase. Question was, that one bottle she's going to pay for using the money that was deposited in her bank account, can she decide to give it all to Yao, or is it, some, is it her sister, or is it something that she would have to split between the two? The old model of this type of case would be in the, in the case of cash payments. If the cash, if the cash would, be, would be handed separately, person A and person B giving it to one person to spend, then that cash is actually defined by the person. So when the, when the purchase is being made, the seller is selling it directly to the one person who had given over that specific amount of cash. If it would have been together, given together as a lump sum, then in that case we would have to say you can't differentiate between the, the monies that were given by the two parties and you can either split it or one party could say I'm stepping back and you have the rights to the purchase. When it comes to bank transfers, it's the bank guaranteeing. It's a different, the, the law actually changes and it's a different setup. When it comes to bank transfers, the money is being guaranteed by the bank to Rena in this case. And when Rena decides, you know, to go through with this purchase, she basically has the rights to decide how that money is being spent. It's not Yael's, it's not Davina's. Yeah, Rena gets to pretty much say this money is going to go. She cares more about her sister Yael, so she can make that decision. Yael, and then the rest of the money she can give back to Davina in this case.